In Indiana, Secretary of State Connie Lawson launched an investigation into the Indiana Voter Registration Project, a nonprofit that aims to register black voters. The group was targeted after Lawson, a Republican, wrote a letter to state election officials last month warning that, quote, nefarious actors were engaged in potential voter fraud. The investigation, conducted by the state police, found incorrect birth dates and first names on the state's voter rolls, but could not determine why or how the changes were made. Democrats have cried foul and say the state actions prevented the group from registering 10,000 voters before the registration deadline. Secretary of State Connie Lawson rushed to judgment without apparently knowing all the facts or without doing her homework. It is a move that reeks of incompetence and partisanship and appears to be an attempt to create confusion and gridlock to deter Hoosier voters from taking part in our political process. Uh, of course, she released this statement. At this time, my office is not sure why these records were changed. We believe this may be a case of voter fraud and have turned our findings over to the state police, who are currently conducting an investigation into alleged voter fraud. Critics of the Secretary of State's actions note that when she was a state legislator, she co-authored Indiana's first voter ID law. They view the investigation as voter suppression. Joining us right now, Dr. Dr. Ben Chavis, the president and CEO of the National Newspaper Republicans Association. Uh, Doc, uh, your thoughts about this? Uh, of course, Indiana is uh -huh. one of those states where you have a Senate race uh, where Evan Baugh, former U.S. Senator, uh, is running uh, for his old seat. Uh, tight race there as well. It's up by five or six points. But again, black votes could make the difference. Well, this is voter suppression. Now, this is not uh, voter fraud. The Republicans, and we, we got to call Mike Pence's name. He wants to be vice president of the United States, but it was his state police. The Indiana State Police put a raid on the largest voter registration apparatus in the state of Indiana. They shut it down and they confiscated the records. So all of the people that that voter registration group have registered are now in jeopardy. When they go to 10,000 more blacks go to vote in Indiana, they're gonna be questioned by this police raid result. So this is voter suppression. Has nothing, to, it's interesting, the Republicans, Donald Trump, Mike Pence, all of them talk about voter fraud. They need to look in the mirror because their only thing wrong with the elections in 2016 mm -hmm. is Republican black voter suppression. Uh, do you believe that when she, when she makes the point about uh, uh, certain things being changed, uh, I read one story where they said 10, 20 were changed. Why in the world would you all of a sudden grab uh, grab uh, so many different, uh, well, shut the whole effort down because of a handful of uh, mistakes? Anybody who's done voter registration know when people fill out the blanks in some states, even if they fill out the blank incorrectly, you're required by law to turn that incorrect blank in. <laughs> You just can't go in and correct it uh, because you can't alter records once it's uh, voter registration. So this is not, again, uh, voter fraud. This is voter suppression led by state officials. And uh, Governor Mike Pence ought to be ashamed of himself. Uh, he needs to, uh, and the police officers, we did some investigation, the National Newspaper Publishers Association, my local newspaper there in Indiana, uh, the Indiana Recorder did a great job investigating this. All of the police, state police officers were Republicans themselves that did the raid. So this is partisan, acting under the cover of law, black voter suppression. All right, then. Uh, folks, again, this is one of those issues where you do this right before the voter registration deadline. This group says, okay, now we're stuck. Well, let me mm -hmm. say this. There's a law in Indiana that requires persons who believe that there's some voter fraud or suppression to report it, and there should be an investigation. But anybody, as, as Dr. Chavis said, and I've, I've been a chair of the D.C. Democratic Party, there are always mistakes. There are always uh, uh, blanks left un, unfulfilled. And the, and the, and the voter uh, registrar's office, uh, the, the elections office, just simply rejects them, quite frankly. There's no need for a major investigation on the color of law here, despite the law. And so all the uh, office has to do is to reject those that are insufficient. And, but shutting down a voter registration drive, quite frankly, under color of law, is just completely unnecessary. This happens all over the country, and they simply reject them. Yeah, I agree. I think also there's, there's the piece around dog whistle politics when you talk about voter suppression and yes. voter pride, right, doctor? And when we say dog whistle politics, we're talking about how you don't want to really be racist, but you're really being racist. Exactly. And when you want to suppress black folks' votes, you don't call it voter suppression, which is the word that we've been using. Exactly. You call it voter fraud. That way, that all the other folks who are, you know, uh, looking at the election or who don't want people of color to turn out to support the Democratic nominee or whatever nominee it actually is, mm -hmm. then you have folks who are saying, well, no, that election was rigged. We can't trust that election. Our Democratic process is messed up. And we've been saying that. 
since <laughs> for, for a long time. Yeah, the system's and, been the rigged system's against been rigged. us. It's, it's been rigged against us. So now for it to come back and now call it voter fraud when mm -hmm. you're infra disenfranchising people of color specifically uh, from allowing them to be able to access the polls and turn out their vote, of course this election's going to come out and turn out the way it is and, and people are going to talk about the election in this way. Um, the real result is once we do elect these folks, how do we continue to push for um, voter enfranchisement, making sure that we change the laws, making sure that it's more accessible, and that we talk about how we uh, break down some of the, the different uh, ways that people have been cheating in democracy. Exactly. The U.S. Justice Department yeah. needs to intervene now. Mm -hmm. yeah. This needs to be corrected before the election, yeah. not after the election. And by the way, you don't have to shut down the operation to do your investigation exactly. on those documents or those registrations that were submitted. This is really overkill in the name of law and, and arguing for race, for race neutral reasons, yet it's racial voter suppression. Right. We just they're, need more polling places, period. They're, they're There's few, no reason why there should be one poll. There's black mm -hmm. Republicans that are in Indiana. I'm hearing from them also. Mm -hmm. They disagree yeah, with yeah. this voter suppression. Yeah. So, so, so uh, the Democrats, are, I mean, the Democrats should know that Republicans are hurting themselves so, yeah. with this voter suppression. A absolutely. Um, the right to vote should be free and unabridged, and this is nothing more than a, a uh, saving face operation for Governor Pence to not have the embarrassment of Indiana going blue again like it did in 2008. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things that one of the things that I think is critical is when you talk about these various states, uh, it's an abomination what we're actually seeing in North Carolina, yes. uh, where you literally have uh, a handful of locations. I mean, th this is th this was by design right. to shrink the number of early voting locations to produce these massive lines. There's no reason in the world you should have people waiting three and four hours right. to cast yeah. a ballot. That's right. right. Not well, North Carolina is deliberate. 16. I think that's my home state, and mm -hmm. Reverend Bob has done such a great job in challenging this. Uh, but it's across the, it's all the Republican counties. There are 100 counties in North Carolina, and those counties that have Republican uh, uh, election officials, they deliberately limited the access to early voting, and that's why there are long lines. But you know what? This is going to make black folks. Uh, know the value of our vote even more. Well, if our vote wasn't valuable, you wouldn't be trying to suppress it. We're going to have a record turnout in the black community. I'm so proud of our young brothers and sisters who are out there standing in line for hours and hours, ain't going to let nobody turn us around. I, I just don't understand, uh, Eugene, uh, how Republicans think that they are somehow going to get black votes mm -hmm. if you have these extremely deliberate efforts. And again, when the federal court says they had a laser-like right. focus and focus targeting African Americans, no, say it. Very let, let me let me tell you the you know North Carolina um, the issues in North Carolina are, are interesting to say the least. I mean this is a state party that you know you know look I'm a Republican you know I, I wear the no. R banner proudly no. I wear the red no. proudly but you know I call BS when I see BS to be quite frank about it. This is a state party that ousted its first African American chairman over absolutely you know ridiculous reasons. This is a state party who the vice chair that ran with him advocated for using violence against protesters and this is a, a state party that you know has a Republican governor that has done everything that's been and you know against the interests of, of his citizens. Um, you know, everything from HB, HB2 to, to some of the, you know, the current voter suppression tactics that we're discussing now. Um, these things are indefensible. Um, these things aren't representative of what the mainstream black Republicans think. Um, and, you know, I think they should properly dealt with. And, and you All know, right. well, it's not Request conjecture. Don't lie. It's not conjecture. After the federal court decision came down and said the laser-like focus was to suppress the black vote, the Republicans put in writing that in the alternative, they would limit the voting locations and limit the days and shut down voting on Sunday or registration voting on Sunday. That is really outrageous and desperate on their part. All right. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.